Hello, and welcome to the first in a series of live interactive webcasts from the Econolite EGI Learning Center. Thank you very much for joining us. I couldn't be more excited. My name is Scott Robinson. I'm one of the product managers here at Econolite, and I'll be your host for today's session on making sense of sensors. As we go to this uh, overhead view, you can see that there are a lot of traffic uh, cars that would need to be making a right turn here across the tracks onto the frontage road. And at the same time, there are vehicles on the frontage road that want to be making a, making a right turn here, or excuse me, a left turn to get over onto the main arterial. So that in itself is what creates the challenge. So here we are, we're in our vehicle and we're heading up and right here, the agency mounted a no right turn sign. So when the queue buildup on the frontage road uh, is detected, well, the agency turns on the uh, no right turn sign and then that gives the queue on the frontage road the opportunity to get into the signalized intersection. And you'll see that here. It's this left turn movement right here uh, that prevents vehicles on the other uh, coming in this direction from making a left turn. So here we are, we have in-ground wireless sensors planted in this left turn lane going up to repeaters that are mounted up on uh, the um, signal lighting poles over the railroad tracks. And once they're detected in that left turn lane, that signal is carried over wirelessly to the traffic control cabinet and vehicles are able to make their left turn across the tracks and enter a green light at the signalized intersection on the main arterial. Just a very complex application that I think if you think carefully, uh, there are thousands of these types of uh, locations around the country, around the world for that matter, and a wireless solution is a perfect uh, example of what, what can be done here. So the city of Santa Clarita deployed and uh, employed the use of AccuSense, uh, a directional in-ground wireless sensor uh, that can be placed in, in the, each lane of travel for optimal stop bar detection. It can also be placed in the advance zone or back from the stop bar for cue detection or cue measurement. So the uh, benefit here is specific spot on uh, placement of where exactly you need your detection to be. The wireless nature of course lent itself uh, to the success of this particular project in Santa Clarita by being able to jump over the train tracks and over moving trains while still providing uh, ac accurate detection uh, of the uh, left turn queue. And again, the, the, uh, the thing I really enjoy about uh, the um, AccuSense in-ground wireless sensor is its scalability. This is a solution that you can put into the ground on just one lane if necessary. Uh, if your budget is limited and you, you can only do one lane, then you can start there and as your budget and the project requires, you can expand the deployment of these sensors just by simply adding them in uh, to the surface of the roadway. So a great solution. The city was extremely impressed and pleased with the performance and it's led to a broader deployment in the city of Santa Clarita.